Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 16th of 2023, well, it is titled Millions of Stars in Omega Centauri. So what do we see here? Well, this is the globular star cluster known as Omega Centauri. And it is a part of our Milky Way galaxy. But globular clusters are among the oldest parts of our Milky Way that formed very early on as the galaxy was forming. And in many cases, are remnants of that very early stage of our galaxy. Here we see this cluster packed with millions of stars, maybe 10 million stars or so, within a very small volume, just 150 or light years so or so across. So the star density is far greater than we would see around us. When we look out, we see a few stars, but our nearest star is only four light years away. Here you could have stars much closer than that. And if you were at the center of a globular cluster, the sky would be shining with these millions of stars, all much closer than most of the stars that we see in our night sky here. Now, in a globular cluster, what we generally find is that the stars all formed early on and that the star formation stopped. So is this great burst of star formation when all of the stars in the cluster formed. And since then, they have just been aging. Now, Omega Centauri is a little bit different in that we notice different populations of stars showing different ages and different compositions. As the composition changes of a star, stars formed long ago generally had very little metals. And metals to an astronomer is anything other than hydrogen or helium. Now, when we what we see here is a little bit more of a variety of stars, leading us to believe that this is possibly the core of a galaxy that formed and has been torn apart by the Milky Way. So it came too close to the Milky Way. The outer layers may have been ripped apart and incorporated into the Milky Way. And the core, denser, managed to survive and still survives to this day, looking much like the globular clusters that we see. So galaxies do merge with our Milky Way all the time. And that happens when stars do become when galaxies come too close and get ripped apart by the tidal forces of the galaxy. And this is how galaxies have grown over time from much smaller galaxies to the very large spiral and elliptical galaxies that we see today. So this may be a remnant of part of one of those collisions in the past. So that was our picture of the day for March 16th of 2023. It was titled Millions of Stars in Omega Centauri. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Serpentine. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.